this is a demonstration of how to use the gas deck dosi tube system. My name is Paul Crows and I'm with Levitt Safety and I want to show you the gas tech passive dosi tube system. So we use dosi tubes because they are in an inexpensive, easy way to measure the average concentration of a target gas over a period of time. So by design they're intrinsically safe, there's no batteries required, they're very easy to use by non-technical people, they give you an immediate result and there's no regulators or no calibration gas or no calibration gas uh, required to use the dosi tube. So there are lots of dosi tubes available for ammonia, chlorine, NO2, SO2. In fact, there's 24 different tubes. Uh, one we're going to use today is the carbon monoxide or the 1DL tube. So when you get a box of dosi tubes, you're going to notice a couple of things. There's a QC number on the front, which refers to the lot number that is manufactured. It'll give you the range. It says store below 10 degrees Celsius because these tubes like to be kept cool and dark. And you notice also on the back side, a valid until January 2014. So every box will be unique or individual with respect to those numbers. When I open up a box of tubes, there's 10 tests or 10 tubes in here. And there's a couple of sheets of information you want to have a look at. And one is a, a little record keeping card where you can keep some notes as to the start time and the finish time of a test. And the other is the instruction card. And the instruction card is very important to read because it tells you all about the detector tube, um, the range that you can use it in, the sampling hours, the detection limit, uh, any cross interferences, any effects of humidity or temperature. So it's well worth your time to read that and understand what the tube can do prior to using it. Tubes themselves, that's the detector tube there. Uh, so it's a long, narrow glass pencil. And you can see it has a calibration mark, so it's pre-calibrated on here. It's accurate because it's been tested at the factory for those concentration ranges. So it's about the same accuracy as a, a, a small gas monitor for carbon monoxide. And the way you use this tube is that first you record when you, just, when you uh, decide to start using it. And I take the uh, sample holder and I insert the front end of the tube into there. And I very carefully bend it away from me and break off the end. So the portion that's remaining is just a, a, a small piece of glass and that you can dispose of in normal glass uh, disposal. And then the tube gets inserted into the tube holder like this. So you can see the end of the tube is exposed and so now the ambient air will permeate into there. If there's carbon monoxide, it will cause a stain to occur on the side of that tube. So I've worn one of these for a little while already in an atmosphere containing carbon monoxide. So if I compare these two tubes, obviously they look quite the same. There's the one that's brand new. Here's the one that I've been wearing it for a while. And if you look at the front of these, they're identical. And they both say Gastec Passive Dosi Tube. As I rotate them, you can see they both have the same graduation scale on it from 10 to 200 parts per million. As I turn it a little bit more, you can see the one on my left is still clear, whereas the one on the right has got a, a darker stain occurring across it. And I want to know how far that stain occurred. So I can see it's crossed the second line. It's starting to stain the area between the second and third line. So we're looking at at least 30 parts per million of carbon monoxide showing up on this tube. So we just do a little bit of math, 30 ppm divided by one hour is 30 ppm hours. That's my average concentration of carbon monoxide over that period of time. Now I've taken this card and I've marked down, I started at eight o'clock and I finished at nine o'clock in the morning. So just a one hour sample. I take that 30 ppm divided by the one hour, gives me 30 ppm hours of uh, carbon monoxide exposure. If this had been a 10 hour sample instead, it would be 30 ppm divided by 10, which is obviously a much lower concentration of carbon monoxide. So the graduation scale could go up to 200 ppm. Once you go past 200, of course, it's outside of the measuring range of the device. Once you record that value, you can actually write it onto this card, and then you keep a record of your results, and that's all there is to using a, a gas tech dosi tube system. These can be disposed of in regular glass disposal.